what's good? This is your boy Alex Sace. We're back at the Union House, and this time we got the curator of this whole thing, Paul. What's good, bro? What's up? Good How to be here, man. man. So let's get into this, bro. You know, we're at the Union House, and here at the Union House, you have, you know, your brand called the FTC. Yeah. I really wanted to, you know, because, you know, prior to this interview, we interviewed Roy, and he kind of elaborated a little bit on what FTC was, but since you were kind of like the brains behind the operation, I definitely wanted to get, you know, your intake and just, you know, just tell me about what it really is, you know what I'm saying? So FTC, where did it all start, bro? All right, so FTC, it stands for For the Culture, right? Yeah. And it started, it must have been January of 2019. Okay. It was um, a few months before that, I met this guy at Dan Graham's, Dan Godoy. He's a photographer out here. He's actually out in, I think, Montana right now. But okay. so we got together and, you know, we we're just meeting for coffee pretty often, you know, just like hanging out, spitballing. And then we got the idea to just have an event because he had he had like this boxing gym that was available to him, like way on the east side. It was like East Tropicana deep. Yeah. It was deep. And he was like, hey, man, I got this boxing gym. We can have an event. You want to do something? So I'm like, all right, you know, we don't, we didn't know what to do. We didn't even have speakers. Okay. So we went to Guitar Center. We bought a speaker uh-huh. and we got, I think he DJed the first one. And um, we put out the promotional material and like 150 people came out. It was really, it's really like a kind of spectacular thing. So like FTC, so kind of to start off as an event first before it even like kind of started off as brand. Like you guys oh, just yeah. brainstorming and boom, let's just throw this event yeah. for the culture. Yeah. And that's how it all kind of started then. Okay. Yeah. So, you know, after this whole event and stuff, like, you know, what were, what were the next steps into building what it is now? You know, like, you know, how'd you go about it? Like, well, yeah. actually let's, let's get more into what it really is. Like what is for the culture? So for the culture, you know, the best way to describe it, there's like two main missions. Mm-hmm. We have events and the events is to display Las Vegas culture okay. in a very like a uh, safe way that's available to all ages. It's very inclusive. You know, everybody's welcome out of for the culture event. And when we say display Las Vegas culture, it's not just like rap music or it's not just like some bands. Mm-hmm. We have a true tasting of everything that's going on in Vegas as much as we can fit. You know, that's the goal. So we'll have on average maybe t- 10 to 12 uh, musicians. Okay. And like 20 artists and 20 vendors and it'll just be like really the best display of culture we could put together for the night right Mm -hmm. and those those are very popular with the people you know we have an average attendance of um maybe three to four hundred people somewhere in there so you know people are really loving it so that's the event side of it Mm -hmm. now what we've done recently probably of the past six months is we've moved into like a content a content archiving form form of like a content creation, right? So like everybody's making content, but for the culture's content is specifically focused Mm -hmm. on archiving, I guess, this moment in Vegas history, right? Like that's why I tell the team, that's the idea. Mm -hmm. Whatever's happening, we want to archive it because it's deserving like to be known. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, motorcycle, but people need to know about this shit. That's essentially it, right? And like, if nobody else is going to archive it true and like with really nice high production qualities, then we are. You know, and back behind the camera, I've got Circe. He's one of the very fucking key people on the team, Circe Productions. You can get him at the at. But even Alex Ace, right? Mm-hmm. So the whole thing is creating this incredibly high production quality mm-hmm. and capturing like what it is that is Vegas culture, mm-hmm. right? That's that's the entire mission. And you know, there's a lot of different kinds of Vegas culture. Uh, there's artists, there's musicians, there's food, there's bars and all kinds of crazy stuff. Yes. So we're open to it all. Okay. I want to get into, you know, what's going on? What do you guys got going on, you know, in the works right now? What's what's going on for the culture as we speak? All right. So for the culture, very recently, we've had the opportunity to open up a shop here. Yes. At the beautiful Union House, right? You know, so we're taking the dive into creating like some actual physical products mm-hmm. for people to enjoy. So that's a little piece of it, but an even bigger piece of what's going on down here at the, at the shop we just opened, right? So right now, what is it like? June 20, something like that. Yeah. And uh, we opened the shop in the very beginning of June and it's mainly a place to create content and connect and then like engage with each other, right? So like the whole For the Culture team and all this stuff, it's maybe 20 to 30 people. And before that, we we're meeting at Madhouse, right? And we got to the point where they're kicking us out because there's too many people yeah. inside of this coffee shop. So now we've got this place where everybody can come together, you know, in the back. They're making music right now. They're making t-shirts. People are DJing. It's it's absolute madness, mm-hmm. but it's just the natural way of for the culture because so much is going on, mm-hmm. you know? So the shop's a special place. We're making content. We're making products. Um, 
you know, it's exciting. Let's talk about July 4th. What's, got, what's going on July 4th? Okay, so July 4th, mm -hmm. of course, Independence Day, yes. right? So it's a very uh -huh. special day. But even bigger than that, it's going to be like sort of a soft launch for the, for the, for the culture uh, shop. Mm -hmm. What we're going to be doing is, you know, a small cookout in the back. I've been practicing with the grill trying to get a little bit better <laughs> yeah, you yeah, know yeah. the burgers they came out okay today they came out hell you know bomb, dude. and a hot hot dog too it's so good bro. you know really good so what we're going to do is july 4th have a little cookout open the shop up if you want to come out and shop you can come out and shop we're going to have the artists out so we've got a lot of murals going on in the back you're gonna, the artists that made the murals are going to be out here we've got like uh, the dj going it's not an event it's more so just the opening of our shop and then you know come enjoy a burger we will have vegan options um, yeah, that's pretty dope. That's actually cool. But yeah, so just take a little time out of July 4th. Mm -hmm. You guys come will be down selling here. merch and stuff too, right? Yeah, so we're going to have the merch fully yeah. ready to go. We got all kinds of different merch. So we got the shirts and uh, tapestries and matches, and lighters, all kinds of crazy stuff, right? But um, yeah. Okay, that's pretty dope. So July 4th, if you guys are freaking free, come check it out. Yeah, we'll so be let's, out here. let's get into the future, bro. Like, you know, what What do you have planned for, for the culture? I mean, you don't have to tell everything, but mm -hmm. if, like, just give us a little sneak peek, like, What's the end goal for it all? Well, the end goal for it all, mm -hmm. it's, you know, cause that's a big thing, it is, right? It is. So we're like, talking like two years, five years, 10 years, but I could tell you for certain, yeah. the things that we're going to do yeah. is essentially we have to break out of the underground. So we're going to create the absolute best shows Las Vegas has ever seen uh -huh. on a culture basis, right? So we're averaging 400, we'll max out at five. So you're trying to create that standard for a mainstream almost in a sense. Then, oh yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No. Because I like how you were talking about everything prior to this. You were talking about like how everything, like the media you put out, you want it to be quality media. And that's what you got to you know, be putting out when you, yeah. you, know, you want to go mainstream and stuff like that. Sorry, that was just you know, piggyback off what you're saying. Yeah. When I talk to the team, you know, there's a few different rules. And like, of course, it's like do our best. You know, we always have to give it our all and all of that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But I want us to look like a $10 million plus organization at all times, you know? Okay. So, and that's the goal. So when we have events, mm -hmm. It's not just two speakers. Like we work with Smash Bros, a, um, a very, very great rave production company out here. And they do all of the lighting and sound and all that sort of like engineering for our shows because you know, it's, it's grown a little bit past what we're capable of. Mm. So the entire goal is, yeah, you know, 10 million plus until we are 10 million plus at that point, we gotta look like a hundred million, you know? So Shoot, okay. that's where we're at. So Paul, before we close out the show, um, I wanted to ask you, you know, after talking about for the culture, you know, and everything that it represents, you know, I wanted to ask if there's anybody you'd like to you know, give recognition to, shout out. Yeah, no, that's, and that's a good question because for the culture, mm -hmm. it's truly a lot more than me, right? And that's why I try to stay out of the spotlight for it because so many other people deserve mm -hmm. even more recognition, right? Because it couldn't be possible. I mentioned a little bit the big team. Yeah. I mentioned the team that we got. And it's 20 to 30 people deep and every person deserves recognition. So I'm going to try and rattle a few off, right? I'm going to try to get as many people as I can. Okay. On the event side, there's Smash Bros. We got Ride and Dirty, Long Hair Eric, Lindsay Sounds, Marco. He helps me tremendously. Marco, Marco 4D, Real Marco 702, however you know him. He could throw in for the culture by himself. But so that's like, that's on the music side. Okay. The actual physical creation, Frank Wumbo, Numskull, they actually build the things that you see at for the culture events mm -hmm. primarily them and then some of frank's students um like matt shout out matt and then you know we go to the content creation side and then get royal orange he heads the whole thing over there <laughs> yeah so royal orange and then under him there's patricio and rain 7000 or rain zero however you know her but the photographer out here um she does a little bit of work with us and then there's alex ace there's cc productions there's <laughs> hme huff who else is involved in this thing? Shout out to Numskull. You know, he does a tremendous amount of work. So he builds a lot of stuff, mm -hmm. but he does the designing, right? So like all the clothes you see and a lot of like the backdrops and, you know, the matches and all these things, he designs them out, right? Okay. And he, he has like the, the know-how and all the creation work to that stuff. And then, you know, some other faces out there. There's Zerby. He's helped from the very beginning. Uh -huh. There's Lurk. He's helped from the very beginning. Um, you know, and I'm always worried about leaving somebody out. But I think that might be, oh, Dan Grams. Shout out Dan Grams. That's, that's day number one, you know? Okay. Shout out Dan Grams. I mean, you guys hear that list? That, that's a big ass list. That's a, that's a real team. That's, there's real production like behind this. 20 here, motherfuckers in there. Yeah. Right? But you know what? This is Alex Ace. This is Paul. This is the curator of FTC. We're at the Union House. Until next time, this is New Drip.
Jadi, yeah. see ya. Yeah.